about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to another food haul Now you may have remembered in my last food haul I said I was getting a little bit bored of going to Tesco's every week Or having our food delivered from Tesco I just like to shop in different shops I get really bored really quickly and I like to see what offers different places are doing so I said this week I would go somewhere different and I have I actually went to Iceland and B&M <laughs> you can't get up here so I actually went to Iceland and B&M and I popped into Poundland because I needed some cleaning bits and I think B&M is brilliant for cleaning bits and Iceland is also good for not just frozen food so what I'll do is I'll take you through those three shops it's quite a big one and then at the end I will let you know our meal plan for the coming week and how much I spent in each shop right I'm going to start over here with the fruit and veg I didn't buy hardly any fruit and veg we've got so many tomatoes left so many apples and pears and you can hear the dogs they always start every time I pick up a camera so anyway I've got a big pack of mushrooms I've got some carrots two cucumbers two lots of four baking potatoes and these were 25p a bag so I've got two of those I've got three really nice big onions two lots of grapes these were two for three pound they're the seedless grapes um, I decided to try the diced onions for things like um, stews or casseroles or soups so you get four no you get five packets and you can mix and match for four pounds so I've got two lots of the diced onions I've never tried them I thought them would go um, I've got some mixed peppers and then I also thought I'd try some chopped garlic because there's loads in here and it was obviously less than a pound a pack and you pay more for fresh garlic so I thought I'd just give it a try I can always go back to buying the fresh stuff if I prefer I bought the fresh onions because I like that in like salad and obviously I don't think frozen onions are gonna work I bought a big bag one and a half kilos of breaded chicken fillets these are 100% chicken breast and they were five pounds so that was really good price because we've got a chest freezer I can just pop them upstairs massive two and a half kilos of crinkle cut oven chips um, these were two pound I bought 60 fish fingers Iceland have started doing something called food service and they've got like catering packs of loads and loads of things and these fish fingers they're cod ones um, they were four pound for 60 so I thought that was really good I got a big pack of chicken thigh boneless chicken thigh fillets there's two kilos in here and then nine pound and then I got a big pack of diced beef and I'm gonna half this and it will do two meals I've got some slow cooker meals coming up so I needed beef for that <laughs> the dog the puppy is in siren's bed barking i got two takeaway stuffed crust pizzas one is pepperoni and one is barbecue chicken and bacon and they're the cheese stuffed crust the boys really like these these were two pound but wafer thin roast chicken for sandwiches two half price peppered beef and these were 90p a pack i have those in sandwiches or rolls with onion and like mayonnaise two lots of smoked bacon for the weekend I got some of these beef pasties half price they were 58p for two and what I'm going to do is pop them in the freezer and then at the weekend we can just put them in the oven to warm them through and the boys can have them for lunch or something I got some of these I couldn't resist little miller corners magical snowballs look at them they're so cute but I thought I've got some of those they were two pound for six so I'm um, Greek yogurt for a recipe a big clover because that was only two pound two lots of these stock pots again I usually use stock cubes but some of the recipes that I'm trying this week call for um, stock pots so I tried these I think they were two for £1.50 they were on offer so you get four in each I got 12 large free range eggs I know in my last couple of shopping hauls where I've ordered eggs from Tesco I've just popped them in the basket um, as 12 eggs or 15 eggs and not really looked at them and then somebody pointed out they weren't free range so I'm double checking in future I got some chilli ketchup again that's for a recipe some fry light this is £1.50 it's the buttery one I got two bottles of this Kamala um, white wine and it should have been £5 and now £3 so I was like well you can't really pass up £3 for a bottle of wine so I got two of those because they only had two um, some orange juice again this is Hobbs no you've been spotted in the shopping bags 
<laughs> so I got um, orange juice, yeah, this is for a recipe that I'm going to be making. Four pints of semi-skimmed milk, a large Vimto no added sugar squash. I got 14 bags of McCoy's for £2 and 14, no, 15 um, baked crinkleys. And these were also £2. Two Wonder Loafs. These are like the 50-50 um, whole wheat and white. And they were two for one fifty as well, I think, which is really good. And some soft, soft, <laughs> sliced soft white rolls. Um, you get eight in there and they were 50p, half price. They're really, really soft as well. So I'll just pop those in the freezer. So that's everything I got in Iceland and that came to £87.49. And now I will show you what I got in B&M. Oh, Iceland, I forgot to say, I also bought another case of this Dr Pepper Zero. You get 24 cans and it is £5.99. Right, so this is what I got in B&M. So I got a little squeaky toy thing for Hobbs. That was £1.99. Uh, I got a massive knuckle roast phone for Siren. She absolutely loves these and they last forever. I got some honey because we've run out and I use it in cooking. I've got some dry shampoo. This Batiste one is my favorite. I don't really like the um, TG one that I got in Home Bargains. I bought two of them, but it really doesn't do anything, whereas this one's really good. I got a Moroccan Spa Imperial Leather. I bought one last week. Um, I bought the Polynesian Spa, and I really don't like it. It smells horrible, so um, I need to remember that because I bought it before and not liked it. I got some of this Silip bang black mold remover this is a really really powerful cleaner for in the bathroom and even if you don't want to remove any black mold it brings up like our black shiny tiles and everything really really well and it removes lime scales so easily so that was 1.99 i got two of the bold two in one this is the sparkling bloom and yellow poppy and these were 2.99 and you get 24 washes so i got two of those i got a domestos toilet thingy i thought the gold was quite cool that was a pound i got two lots of tomato puree because i am out i picked up um a load of sort of sweet bits just to stock up i won't obviously we won't be eating all these this week but i can pop them in the cupboard and fill up like our stash if you know what i mean so i got three pack of maltesers that was a pound these kind of fell in because I was hungry, but uh, they've got white chocolate nibbles. They've got digestive biscuit in. They sound really good. I got some pinballs. These are one of Jake's favourite sweets, and they're doing limited edition red, white, and blue ones. They're like the British, Great British edition, and these are only 69p. Sherbet pips because every time I see them, it just reminds me of being a child, so I just put them in, <laughs> even though I'm probably not going to be eating them. I got some strawberry milkshake mini bags these are 11 in a bag and they worked out 75p each i got some food and freezer bags i got my first christmas purchase the dog is actually trying to tear the bin liner out of the bin but i got my first christmas purchase of the year yeah i'm leaving it late i'm not very organized this year i got some candy canes we've got strawberry and banana bubble gum mint choc chip and peanut butter and jelly and i thought they sounded really cool so i've got some of those Two lots of cranberry sauce. This isn't for Christmas, this is for a recipe I'm doing. I got some corn flour because I'm out. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. A dishwasher salt, this was a pound. I got six tins of soup. I use this for recipes like sauces. I don't use it as soup. The best place to get this is B&M. It's only 49p a tin and it makes really nice um, base for sauces and things. So I've got four chicken and two cream of mushroom. I got a Liam Perrin sauce because I need it for a recipe again. And this was £2.9 but it is a big one. And I also got a Kenko Milicano because it was £2.50. And that all came to £36.73. But I have stocked up on some cleaning bits and that as well. So that's good. So what I'll do now is I'll insert what I bought yesterday in the pound shop. So I just got these couple of bits in the pound shop. I got some Cocoa Pop cereal bars, some Hobnob cereal bars. I got some of this Nutrifix shampoo. Um, this was reduced to 75p other than a pound. But um, yeah, it's just a coconut milk shampoo. I thought I'd try it. My sister-in-law said it's actually really good. I got a No Drama Llama Co Cool Coconut Body Wash. I thought that sounded good. 60% extra free. I got a Tiger Loaf. Um, this was 50p. Uh, half and half Warburton's also 50p and then in TK Maxx I just got a baking tray I need to throw away all my baking trays and replace them with new ones so I'm going to try the salt to make because I know that's a good make apparently it's got a 10 year guarantee I mean I don't even know how baking trays have a 10 year guarantee but this one has so 
So I'm going to try it and if they're any good then I'll probably slowly replace all of them with like decent ones because mine are falling to pieces. So yeah, that's all I got in the pound shop. So here is our meal plan and tonight we're going to be having some leftover beef in wraps and the boys are going to have fish fingers with chips and beans. Tomorrow night we're going to be having a pizza night. So at the weekend I'm going to be doing slow cooker meatballs, they're turkey meatballs and I'm going to be making those with rice and broccoli and like a sweet cranberry sauce. And I'm also going to be making a slow cooker beef stroganoff and a creamy tarragon chicken and mash. All three of those are already up in a slow cooker video so if you want I will leave that link down below if you haven't already seen it and I'll show you step by step how I make those things and leave the ingredients in the description. Uh, Tuesday tandoori chicken salad and Wednesday we're going to have leftovers or whatever I can throw together. So I hope you enjoyed that mama food haul and it's given you some ideas of places to go and take a look in B&M if you don't usually shop in there it is really good for things like washing liquid and cleaning suppliers and things like that. If you did enjoy this video please make sure you go and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload and check us out on Instagram it is the Folger family and we will see you in our next video. This is what we waited for